Sherbayera. In this video, I'll be spending 100 hours trying to learn a 3D modeling software called Blender. But here's the catch. Hans is gonna try to do the exact same thing. We're gonna be making the same models, comparing them, and let our Discord community decide who the winner is. And at the very end, we're gonna try to create a huge personal project to see if we learned anything, and also who gets to take home the golden donut. And also the loser has to make dinner for a week. It's not gonna be me. To make it as fair as possible, we're not gonna be able to see what the other person does before the judges round, aka when Discord decide who the winner is after we complete a 3D model. So I'm gonna be staying home in our apartment for the next two weeks and Hansi is gonna stay here at the studio. Okay, bye. See you later. When I crush you. Hey! <laughs> Run. So this is not only a stupid 100 hour challenge, I mean it's also that, but I have been wanting to learn Blender for a very long time. For 3D printing and game development, which is something I really enjoy doing on my spare time. And 3D modeling is like just this barrier that I never seem to kind of be able to cross. Because every time I open Blender, I just close it again. Like, it's, it's too much. But this is the perfect opportunity to learn Blender and also have the chance to destroy Martina. Because I know she really thinks she's gonna win this so easily. But I think you can give her like a fighting chance. No, I mean I give us a fighting chance. Give me. Ah, you know what I mean? Let's get going. Welcome to my room. We got some plants, a PC, camera gear, dog beds, all you need. Challenge number one. Create the famous donut made by Blender Guru. An absolutely amazing tutorial. I'll leave a link to it down below. So let's just start the clock in three, two, one. Let's go. Day number two. My god, the amount of hotkeys you have to learn. This is exactly why I try to avoid learning new software at any cost. Let's look at some donuts. Yes. Do you want to see the one I made first? Or? Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. And you even did icing. I originally created like a Halloween themed one, but with orange and stuff. But then I was like, what would I eat? And I, I, I went for the chocolate one. Oh, my mouth is getting watery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see yours. Oh, now I'm embarrassed to show mine. <laughs> okay, let me find it. Hold on. <laughs> That's so you, though. <laughs> it looks great, though. It is time for the judges round. So we're going to post this to Discord, wait for about an hour, and then we see who the winner for round one is. <sighs> it's been one hour. One hour. Let's see this. Oh, come on! You won by far! What Easy! The hell? Easy! <laughs> People love chocolate. I knew it! God dang it! <laughs> Got him. I'll, I'll get you next round. Hmm. Just you watch me. Next tutorial! Next! Bye! See you never! So the next tutorial we're gonna follow is the Dungeon Lord tutorial by Grant Abbott. And I mean, doesn't it look freaking cool? You know, we're gonna win this round. I can feel it. Time to make a dungeon door. Let's go! This tutorial calls for drawing and I suck at drawing. I already started like making, sketching something up on the computer, but I only have a computer mouse. Like I don't have a tablet like Martina has. So she knows how to draw, but she also has a tablet. Like this, this tutorial is stacked in her favor. I have to do it the best I can. So I brought up some paper and I started sketching with a pencil. And I mean, it's 2D art and it's me, so it's still trash, but it's a little bit better. I just have to try to make up for what I can't do in 2D art, in 3D art. And man, this is gonna be a challenge.
complete. Oh, I'm super happy with how it came out. Just look at this. Oh, I'm really happy with these crystals and how they kind of glow. And also the stone texture. I spent quite some time trying to figure out the nodes and everything, trying to get this and followed some different tutorials. I'm pretty happy with this. And now I'm really curious to see what Hansi has done and see who wins. So uh, let's go over there. <sighs> It's time for the judges round. Part two. Part two. <laughs> okay, first let me see what you have made. Okay, sure. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Ta-da! Bro, <laughs> that's a sick, this, that looks amazing. Thank you. That almost looks photorealistic. Before I show you mine, I can show you this. So this is my sketch. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. Well, actually it worked, except the perspective on the stairs is well, kind yeah. of, but I fixed that in the blender. It looks awesome. What are you talking? Oh my God, the texture. You did so nicely on the stone here. I really love like the highlights. So time to, to get some judgment on this. I think yours is the best. Yours had much better design overall. Mm. And I think the texture was great. So yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. In an hour. Mm -hmm. Oh, you won by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One one then. One one. But we have one more round. And for the final round, we're gonna make basically whatever we want. Yes. Try to take everything we have learned in the past few days and use everything into one large project. Yes. I'm so excited about this. And I probably have to get myself one of these tablets because you you're kind of like you you. I'm not saying you're cheating, but you have. <laughs> certain advantage by being True. able to texture it. Time for the final part. Redemption awesome. arc. Let's go. Challenge number three. The score is currently at 1-1. One, one. So whoever wins the next round wins the golden donut. I figured I want to make a wizard tower. The thing about the wizard tower is we can combine so many things because we can focus on form, materials and textures, and also lighting and maybe some magic effects. I think I'm going to start with creating a mood board, which I usually do, just so I can get an idea of what sort of wizard tower I want to make and the aesthetics of it all. I found some buildings that I think look really cool. They all have elements that I like. So I'm going to try to take all of this as inspiration to make my own sketch and my own design. Uh, guys, we, we have a problem. Last challenge I said I wasn't great at drawing. Well, nothing has changed, but this time we have to make our own designs and we have to do a whole lot more drawing. I have made a sketch because I got myself a tablet and I spent all yesterday just sketching up and you know, I made the design. Now, is it the most impressive, the most unique, magical, creative design ever? No, it's not. Am I happy with it? Yeah. But I do think with the right amount of perfection and blender magic, we have the chance to learn something, but most of all, we have the chance to beat Martina. So I'm hyped for this. Let's get it. The sketch is done, so that means we can start sculpting. Woo! Thank you. 
And so I have a slight problem. I have made my entire architecture, my geometry, everything is basically like there. The problem is that my computer is kind of getting slow. And I'm thinking it might be because I have like 20 or 30 million vertices and my computer is just slowly dying from handling all this geometry. So I think I have to start again. I'm gonna reuse my bricks, my shingles, everything. I just have to make it a lot simpler, maybe make it a bit bigger so it becomes like stylized instead of realistic or whatever. And hopefully it will still turn out pretty cool still. I think it will. But yeah, let's hope there's still time because the clock is moving fast. Oh my god, it is so much fun. Is there something about just seeing a sketch that I have turned into a 3D space? I mean, it's so freaking cool. I feel like I can use the same knowledge I have of working in 3D space in real life in Blender. It's amazing. And the one thing Blender has that real life doesn't have is copy paste. Ugh, thank goodness, I love it so much. I gotta get back to work because I really want to finish this tower. So let's go. And now for a quick ad for Into the AM. Into the AM creates premium high quality apparel like hoodies, joggers and tank tops and of course all of these cool graphic t-shirts. Like this one. They're running a Black Friday sale from November 18th till December 4th with 30% off site-wide and if you sign up for their SMS or email newsletter you'll get additional discounts on top of that. The sale is perfect for holiday season and they make great gifts and if you order before or during the sale it should arrive in time for Christmas. They also offer bundle deals like three graphic tees for $60 or three basic tees for $49.95. So if you think this sounds interesting, make sure to check out the link below and use our code to get 10% off your order. And back to Blender. It is done. It's taken so long time right? and still I managed to like have a lack of time in the end. It's the same, same. <laughs> I'm so nervous to show you. Like It's been so long. I feel like the bar is here, but okay. This better be good. Oh, no, shut up. <laughs> Bruh. <Ta -da. laughs> See, that's why I meant it's overcomplicated. It's way too many what? things. That's a, that looks amazing. Uh, you're gonna win this easily, I think. No. I, I, I mean, I haven't seen yours, but... How the frick did you make it so good? <laughs> no, no, no. Are those all individual bricks? Oh, no, no, no. no. I, ma I made a shader for that. Because I did... <laughs> think of making individual bricks but you know me and the putting individual no 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 not in blender <laughs> okay i feel kind of bad now this no! is so much better than mine <laughs> what do you mean it looks awesome that looks so good oh my god the lighting too what are you talking about it looks amazing i think it's a little bit less complicated than yours but it's well i'm pretty happy with it uh, all things considered i had to start i had to start all over again like halfway in oh. with all the individual bricks all the shingles everything just crashed and burned yeah. okay but i guess it's judgment round. round post it to discord yes and you can eat your donut no <laughs> we'll see <laughs> okay we'll see it's time for the judges round Here is the, the golden, golden donut. donut. Who gets to eat it? I want it. And who has to make dinner for the rest <laughs> of the week? <laughs> okay, moment of truth. <sighs> Nori, okay. don't eat the donut. No, it's not don't for you. you. You haven't done anything. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Bruh, you won by a lot. 
<laughs> well, I think it's the serve. Oh. It looks a lot better. No, I, I think we're both. They were both equally nice. Yours were much cuter. I'm very happy with it. Actually, yes. I've learned so much from this. That's what all the losers say. But yeah. it's true. <laughs> no, but, but really though, it's been so nice to be able to just put this much time into one. Finally, I feel like I can navigate Blender without being like terrified. So it's yes. been amazing. Yes. And I mean, I have to make dinner for a week, but I mean, then you know, nothing changes. <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, don't, don't out me like this. <laughs> Please enjoy your donut. Oh, I will. I won the donut challenge. Huh? You know, the crap is done. Mm. Oh, it's good. They serve. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've had so much fun with this and I feel like I've learned a lot from this. And you know, I hope you enjoyed watching as well. Please let us know if you found this enjoyable or just not. Oh, it's been a nice change of pace. It has. It definitely has. I really enjoyed doing this, so please let us know what you thought. Thanks to everyone for watching. Thanks to our patrons as well for continuing to support us. And uh, yeah, there's not really a, like a, a final result. Time to look at the final slideshow. Woo! <laughs> nice.